There are a few phrases that you can experience as a human that will immediately make your day better. Examples include, you smell good, which I know y'all don't hear very often because you're very stinky. Another option, here's a million dollars. But my personal favorite, I love your outfit. Ooh, say it again. Hi, I'm Kathleen, and I make videos about exploring your personal style in creative ways. Over the years, I've worn a lot of interesting clothing, and thus, I've gleaned some surefire ways to add show-stopping details to your looks that I think most folks could get on board with. Now, I'm not saying that you have to dress like a cartoon character to exude personal style although it is very fun. But by pushing the boundaries in a few key areas and adding some playfulness and intrigue to our styling and accessorizing, we can spark conversations with future friends at your next happy hour. So let's jump into it. In my experience, the I love your blank, insert item here, comment falls into two categories, two situations. First, it's an icebreaker. Picture this, if you dare, you're at a party. Ah. <laughs> scary. Where you don't know many people. Even scarier. You see someone wearing the coolest jacket you think you've ever seen. Is it vintage? Did they make it? I must know more. Boom. Instant icebreaker. I love your jacket. Where'd you get it? Do we just become best friends? And suddenly you don't want to run out the door at your earliest opportunity, maybe with a couple hors d'oeuvres stuffed into your pockets like a raccoon. Second situation, this one is spontaneous. Maybe you're waiting in line for the restroom at the bar or you're perusing the racks at the thrift store and someone walks by you with a quick, oh, I love your outfit. If that isn't a day maker right there, the menace I become with my ego after I get that from a random stranger, it's apocalyptic. So anyways, let's get on to the actual guide, the tips. Here's how I'm gonna break it down. We're gonna talk icebreakers, we're gonna talk intrigue, and we're gonna talk surprise and delight, baby. Without further ado, our first icebreaker topic. This first item has garnered me more I love your blank comments than any other thing in my entire life. It's a big one. It's shoes. And even if you're not a big shoe person, having one pair of colorful or statement shoes in your closet is a great way to add a little bit of dopamine to any outfit. And it's gonna get some attention. Also, we're gonna talk a lot about color in this video, so be warned, these topics are highly chromatic. I'm sorry, bright colors draw the eyes and delight the senses. What do you want me to say? But don't worry, goths, there's there's a way to make this work for you. Just hold on, hold on to your, your capes or whatever. For some reason, I think it feels like a safe bet for people to compliment shoes to break the ice. Maybe it feels like a safe, unthreatening place to look at somebody that you just met, their feet. It's innocuous enough. Unless it's not, don't be creepy. Like I said before, a surefire option would be a super saturated shoe. Maybe some red cowboy boots or a pastel platform. Even ballet flats or sneakers in a statement color or pattern would be a good option. And if you're not into color, then maybe try for a statement silhouette or some cool details. Maybe a ton of buttons or a blingy moment. And if you're thinking, that sounds expensive, then can I interest you? in the thrift store. That's kind of a joke because we all know that I'm a thrift store industry plant, but truly all of my best statement shoes and vintage finds have come from the thrift store. It's just the truth. If you don't have a pair of statement shoes and you don't feel like buying a new pair, no problem. Here are a couple ways that you could zhuzh up a pair that you already have with things that you probably already have around the house. Have you ever heard of a shoe clip? It's what it sounds like it is, and your mom or your grandma probably know all about them, and I honestly don't know why we don't use them as much anymore. Well, maybe gibbets. Do gibbets count? Anyways, it's just a little decorative clip you put on your shoe, and they're really easy to make. You could use a hair clip or a binder clip as the base, and then hot glue a pom-pom or a bow on there. Or if you want to be super extra, you could crochet a little amigurumi and add some whimsy. That would be really cute. If you like sparkle, if you like bling, you could use a vintage clip-on earring. That's fun. And we're also going to talk a lot more about vintage earrings later, but Hold your horses. Next, this is a pretty well-known hack, but can you add some ribbon, maybe in a cool contrasting color? For this, I personally think the more over the top, the better. But if you want a more modern classic look, you could also go for like a waxed cord, like the kind that you make necklaces with instead. Pair it with a statement sock or some tights. And wowie wow, the bottom fifth of your outfit could go to the Met Gala, no problem. And finally, 
Don't be scared to splash a little paint. I know, I talk about painting shoes from the thrift store far too often on this channel, but it's truly such an easy way to add a little statement or a little color to your wardrobe in a more sustainable and creative way. I love my little Paloma wool dupes that I painted a couple summers ago, and I have this pair of black cowboy boots that are just begging for a paint job. Speaking of, I have a whole video about painting shoes from the thrift store, so feel free to watch that later watch it later if you want to. Okay, next we're gonna talk about another way to break the ice with potential new friends. Statement nails. Can you see those? Probably not. You may have noticed in my recent videos that I had a bit of a rainbow manicure going on. And when I tell you the number of compliments I got from random people in the real world the two weeks that I had that manicure, I was being assaulted in a nice way by compliments. And I have a couple ideas about why a special nail color moment is such a compliment magnet. It feels similar to shoes where it's a safe thing to give someone a compliment on. People most likely aren't gonna get offended if you compliment them on their very intentional choice to add color to their nails. And also, as as humans, we watch each other's hands as we talk to better understand what we're saying. We gesticulate. So it's easy to catch a glimpse and be like, oh, those are cool. I like those. But let's take it a step further. Maybe we choose a color that's a little off the beaten track. There are also tons of super easy at home manicures that you can try your hand at. I really like this dice vibe, clearly. And I know nail polish isn't for everybody, although I do love a masculine polish moment. It's brave, it's bold, it's beautiful. So let's move on to our next overarching theme. Intrigue. Hmm. Intrigue is intriguing because it's a little more covert. This is all about the details and peaking curiosity with unique styling choices. Maybe you choose to break a fashion rule or go for a statement silhouette in a classic item. This may be the more comfortable space for those of us who aren't into super out there styling choices, and the girlies who get it will get it and appreciate it. I think that bags are a great way to introduce some intrigue, especially, you guessed it, a vintage bag. A lot of times vintage bags have unique shapes and textures or a little extra details. For example, this little art deco number that I have has interesting contrast with the plastic mixed with the silk and the quilted thickness with the extra tassel details. It's not a loud piece by any means, but it has a lot of personality. Another example is kind of the opposite. This bag has a very simple silhouette, but it's super eye-catching and graphic because of the pattern and the texture. Pair this with a classic suiting moment or a more simple silhouette, and we've got some fun contrast and intrigue. The train agrees. We also talked a lot about bright colors in the last section, so let's take it in a different direction and talk about unique color. It doesn't need to be loud, but maybe it's a color scheme that isn't as common or it's off season, quote unquote. And this works really well if you're using this unique color as like a statement color. Say you have an all black ensemble. Remember goths? I told you there was something for you. And you add one thing, like a funky colored cardigan or a layering piece. And we've added just a little hint of mystery, of intrigue. Who are they? The world needs to know. All right, let's move on to our last overarching theme. You may have heard of the phrase shock and awe, but that's kind Ooh. of intense. Let's make it a little more wholesome and talk about surprise and delight. These are styling choices or clothing items that are cool upon first glance, but Surprise! They have an extra layer of delight when you take a closer look. To me, the obvious choice here is jewelry. And if you're not a jewelry wearer, wear wearer. Don't worry because the rest of the section is for you. But for now, I'm specifically talking about novelty or kitschy jewelry. From afar, it's a fun, colorful addition to your outfit. But upon closer inspection, is that a stinky little skunk brooch or a cheeky little ladybug necklace? Surprise and delight. Thrift store showcases are filled to the gills with costume jewelry from decades past, and it does not lack personality. And when I say costume jewelry, you might immediately think gaudy. These items don't have to be gaudy to be interesting, although I do like a good gaudy moment. I'm personally a big fan of kitschy vintage clip-on earrings. For some reason, clip-ons specifically are just a little sillier. They usually go the extra mile on the weirdness factor, but you could also use like a pin or brooch, a statement ring, or really any other other kind of jewelry or accessory. I also really like this category as a way to share my personal interests. I have this super cute set of artist palettes from my friend Suze that I love to rock when I just need the world to know that I am an art aunt. 
and I am proud of it. Continuing with our surprise and delight topic, I love a good graphic tee to get the conversation started, but specifically, I love a good slogan graphic. You can still snag some really amazing vintage slogan tees online that aren't exorbitantly priced. I know. It's still possible, I promise. Or you can check out your local estate sales. They just have the silliest phrases. They did it different back then, I don't know. Different time. And finally, let's take a risk, people. Let's style things in a new way. I talked about character dressing in my trend forecasting video earlier this year, and it seemed like it resonated with a lot of y'all. As a quick recap, this is the idea of choosing a character for the day and then basing your outfit around it. I'm talking one day, you're a battle princess, and and the next day, you're a surly grandpa with a heart of gold. Basically, it's casual cosplay from your own cinematic universe. I think it's a wonderful way to style things in a new way, to explore things about your identity, and it's sure to draw some appreciation from the people around you. All in all, this video isn't about getting compliments. Although that's nice, what we really want is to feel excited about our own styling choices and feel like they express some part of us, even if it's a small part, in a visual way. So let me know. What do you like to do with your styling to share your personality? Is there that one piece in your wardrobe that always seems to get a million compliments? Drop them down in the comments below and let's chat! Also, I'm curious, do you have the same toxic trait that I do where someone will say, hey, I like your blank, and you can't stop yourself from saying, thank you, I thrifted it! Or is that just me? Please form a support group in the comments below. It's very much needed. If you like this video, you might like my other videos. I post a new one every week, so please feel free to subscribe if you'd like. And before I get out of here, I just have a quick little channel update. Nothing's gonna change content-wise, so don't worry, but in the next couple months, I'm gonna be accepting more sponsorships. I have some coming soon plans for the channel that require money for me to make them, so your support here is really, really appreciated. I'm sure this goes without saying, but there's never ever any pressure to buy the things that I talk about in my sponsored videos. So thank you in advance for watching, and I'm gonna get out of here. Feel free to check out my previous styling videos or maybe my thrifty playlist next, and I love you, and you're very stinky, and goodbye.